Ready, set, go. And we're done. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Today we're taking a look at this new tent that I've been testing out for the past two weeks or so. This is the Free Spirit Recreation Evolution V2 Short. Now the Free Spirit Evolution tent line, or the Evos for short, have really been the flagship tent that Free Spirit has been making for the past couple of years now. I did bring you guys a quick review of the first gen Evo, which was the longer version. They still make the Evo in the same dimensions, but now they have a short version as well, and the V2 has a lot of updated features that we're gonna dive into and take a look at. If you wanna check out my real world testing of this tent, you can check out my last adventure video. I'll leave a link for it right up there in the corner. You can see me setting this thing up and using it while we're out on a camping trip, but today we're gonna dive into the details. So let's take a closer look at this thing. Now I don't wanna bore you guys with dimensions and all of the specs that you can find over on the website, so throughout all of this, you can find a link for all of the details over on gofsr.com. I will pop up the dimensions right here on the screen and throughout this video, I'm probably going to be comparing this thing to my collab tent with Free Spirit, the Aspen Light. So between the Evo V2 Short and the Aspen Light, they have relatively the same footprint. And while the Aspen Light is kind of like a one size fits all, I would say that the Evo V2 Short is more of a one size fits most. It does share relatively the same footprint as the Aspen Light. However, the two other factors that you're going to have to consider with a tent like this is the weight because it's a little bit heavier and also the thickness because it is quite a bit thicker as well. Now this is a hard shell tent, so you do have that rigid structure on the top of it, which makes it a little bit more rugged and durable than other tents that you'll find out there on the market. Another thing with a hard top is that it allows you to close up your sleeping bags and pillows in there just a little bit easier than a soft top like the Aspen Light. It's still doable with a tent like the Aspen Light, but it definitely is a lot easier with a tent like this. Now with the extruded aluminum frame on here, you of course do have options to mount other gear and accessories to the frame of the actual tent, like a Free Spirit, 270 degree awning. You can mount max tracks and roto packs. You can mount crossbars and put solar on top of this tent. This is one of the main reasons why this is sort of the flagship tent coming from Free Spirit. As long as you can find the tent dimensions that are going to fit best on your vehicle, this is definitely going to be one of your best options. Now, since you do have those modular tracks all around the outside, you can also move the positions of the latches. Since this is the Evo Short, the dimensions actually fit pretty damn well on the back of my Axis Cab Tacoma which is a six foot bed. And a lot of questions that I've been getting are, will this fit on this vehicle or that vehicle? Will it fit on my Outback or my Jeep? Again, I'm gonna recommend you guys go measure your own vehicle and go check it out on the website to find the actual dimensions, both interior and exterior when it's open and closed. But as you can see with my fitment on my truck, I have my Diamondback cover, a front runner rack, and this thing, it's coming right up to the cab height, but it's not sticking up above. And I really love the fitment of this tent on my specific truck. Now underneath the tent, you of course have the crossbars and the EPE foam under there, which is completely weather sealed, just like all of the other Free Spirit tents. Mounting options for this tent and all of their other tents are pretty much endless. Really depends if you're running a flat bar, a square bar, circle bar, whatever it may be. There's a really good chance that you'll find a very secure way to mount this tent up to your vehicle. Now I did say I don't want to bore you guys with the specs, but when comparing this thing to the Aspen Light, the footprint is relatively the same. However, that thickness this thing is coming in at about nine and three quarter inches thick, so almost 10 inches thick, and that's something that you have to consider when mounting this to your vehicle. The other factor is the weight. The Aspen Light is coming in at 110 pounds, so I throw that on the back of my truck and I don't even realize that it's there. Whereas this tent is coming in at 164 pounds, so with that extra weight, you're going to want to consider how high you're mounting it, the security of what you're actually mounting the tent to. And that's why I said that the Evo V2 Short is really like a one one size fits most. If you have a longer bed or you're putting this on top of maybe a Forerunner, you could probably get away with the full size Evo. But again, check all the dimensions over on the website and you will find something that definitely fits your vehicle best. Now, all of the Evolution V2s do come with the telescoping ladder that you'll find with most of the Free Spirit tents. And this one actually has something pretty cool on it that's different from my tent. You simply undo the Velcro strap to extend this thing. 
You can put it into place on the little hooks on the side of the tent, which are movable as well. So you pop the ladder down into the track and then it also comes with this safety strap right here, which you can wrap under one of the crossbars. You cinch that strap down and then if you're parking on uneven ground, it makes the ladder a lot more secure than just simply popping it into the little hooks. So I'll let you guys place your bets now on how long it's going to take me to set this thing up. It's actually very simple. I'm just going to pop all of the latches, lift up one side, lift up the other side, and then it'll be done. So place your bets now down in the comments. Let's see how long it takes to set up camp. Ready, set, go. And we're done. Just like always, I don't really know how long that was until I watch this video back but it is just as fast as pretty much every other tent that Free Spirit offers. And it's about just as easy to put this thing away as well. So now with the new Evo popped up, you can probably already start to tell a little bit of the differences between this one and the previous V1. I, of course, am a huge fan of this design choice, but this thing is black on black on black. It is a very sleek looking tent because of the material choices on here. And of course, this thing is what Free Spirit is known for, completely tri-layer all the way through. Now, if you're not familiar with Free Spirit's tri-layer tent fabric, essentially, it is just insulated tent fabric all the way around. Having just a little bit of insulation in there is going to make this tent cooler in the summertime and warmer in the winter time, almost making this thing about as close to a four season tent as you can get. When you get into the really cold months, you probably will want to opt for some sort of heating solution in there, whether it's a electric blanket or a diesel heater. I would not recommend running buddy heaters like a lot of people talk about in rooftop tents because that adds condensation to the mix. But if you're running an electric blanket or a diesel heater in a tent that is all trailer like this, this, it is definitely a four season tent. On the front of the tent here, you will notice two different boot bags. You could throw all kinds of gear in here. And if you're not using them, you can actually disconnect them with two little buckles right up here. Or if you'd like to use them, it's a great addition to the tent. It has a mesh bottom, so dirt from your boots and shoes can fall out. And then when you're not using them, you can simply roll them up and then use a little tether to keep that in place. You have one on the left side of the entryway as well as the right side. Now you'll also notice from this side of the tent that it is not technically a completely straight pop-up. It kind of goes up and out a little bit. So the hard shell top on this thing kind of pokes out the side of the tent which is going to be used as a door, about a foot or so, and that kind of creates like this little awning which is good for weather if it's raining. You can still sit on the edge of your tent and have some shelter there, which is a really cool design feature of this tent. You will notice that the crossbars of this thing are what's holding the whole tent up and that is actually adding extra thick thickness to the tent, which makes storing your things inside a heck of a lot easier at the same time. Now moving on up to the inside of the tent here, you have 360 degree views all around the tent, which is awesome when you're camping and you are in a very cool spot. Having all of these windows open allows this tent to cool down very quickly. I've heard a lot of concerns about a tent like this that has insulated tent fabric with that tri-layer being all black, especially coming from people down in the south saying, man, our summers are super hot. I don't think I could use a tent like that. It's about 80 degrees here today and as long as long as I'm not parked directly in the sun, it is nice and cool in this tent. So in my opinion, as long as you know where to camp and you can park in some shade, I think this thing would actually be okay in the summer. Not only do you have all these windows open with bug mesh all around, but you also have this flap right here on the ceiling, which is super important when it comes to keeping your tent cool. So if I open this thing up, you will notice that it is a huge panel here of some more bug mesh, and then I can actually Velcro this flap into place. Now this entire tent fabric, all of the tri-layer, all the bug screens and the zippers and everything is sitting inside of the frame, but on the roof, it's not actually attached to the top of the hard shell. So when I touch this hard shell, I can feel that it's actually pretty warm on that metal, but you do have a few inches of a gap there. So as soon as a breeze comes by, even if I have the windows closed, the heat in the tent is going to rise out through this vent. And then the breeze is going to come across the top of that hard shell and actually pull the hot air out of the tent. That's just a quick pro tip. If you are trying to use a tent like this in some warmer climates, you're going to get some breeze because of this. It's going to suck out all the hot air and it's also going to allow you to keep the condensation down. Now, speaking of condensation, 
condensation and ventilation in this tent, you also have two more vents towards the door side. These have the same tri-layer fabric, just like the vent on the top, and if I put pull these down. We have bug mesh in there to keep bugs out, which is a nice addition compared to the V1 tent. And then on the outside, there are little rain flies that you can put into place with these little Velcro standoffs. So this tent kind of has a lot of modularity depending on the conditions that you're camping in. One thing that I absolutely loved about the first Evo and now this Evo is even better is how dark this thing gets. I accidentally overslept the last time I was in this tent and I ended up waking up at like 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, completely missed the sunrise because you can't even tell that it's sunny out. If you have this tent completely closed up, you could definitely sleep in here all day without being bothered by the daylight or the sun. Now, one of the other best things about Free Spirit and all of their tents is that they are starting to come with their new Aircore mattresses, which you guys have probably heard me talk about a lot in the videos of my personal tent, the Aspen Light. So of course, these new Evo V2s are coming with the Aircore mattress as well. This is sort of like a hybrid between a memory foam and an air mattress, hence Aircore. So there's little cores in here, and if you open up the valves, the memory foam will expand and actually suck in air. You can close those valves and then you have a pretty nice like medium firm mattress in here. So the air core is about three inches thick and then you also have that EPE waterproof foam underneath there which is about another inch or two inches I believe. So laying in these tents is super comfortable. I don't think I could ever go back to one of those like thin flimsy memory foam mattresses that a lot of other tent companies try to just like throw in their tent saying that it's a feature but in reality it's one of the cheapest ways they could do it. Free Spirit took feedback from myself and a lot of other people and they're now offering these Aircore mattresses in almost all of their tents and I hate using this word but the Aircore mattress is an absolute game changer when it comes to sleeping in a rooftop tent. So what else do we have while we're up here? You'll notice the space. I'm kind of sitting up nice and tall. I'm about 5'10", 5'11", and I still have plenty of space up here with my head. You will notice all of the gear that I have packed in here. I have two travel size pillows like this. I have two inflatable pillows like this. I have a nice fuzzy blanket and a zero degree sleeping bag and that on top of the air mattress is still super easy to close, which you guys will see here in a little bit. Now, I feel like this tent has plenty of space. However, if you're taller, then you may want to opt for the regular Evolution V2, which is of course going to be a lot longer. So again, me being like 5'10", 5'11", on a good day, I can lay completely stretched out in here with plenty of room to spare up by my head and down by my feet. If I'm sleeping here by myself, I would of course kind of lay diagonal or just starfish in here and then have all of the room. I think this size tent would be perfect for two adults and maybe a dog or a child to go along with them. It's definitely gonna be a little bit tighter with a puppy or a kid with you, but definitely two adults, you could sleep in here super comfortably. Now, how about some of the storage in this thing? Of course, I can keep all of my camping gear inside of here, but we have a ton of storage all the way around this thing. I didn't even realize how many pockets there were, but there are eight in total. We have two of these clear storage pockets over by the front door. You can dump all of your EDC gear into there and not forget it when you wake up in the morning. Up towards the top of the tent over here, we have two clear zipper pouches for other gear. Maybe you wanna throw some flashlights or snacks up inside there. You can zip them closed. And on this side, we of course do have the adjustable LED light strip, just like you will find in all of the Free Spirit tents right now. We have the same pocket on this side and I actually have been storing and keeping my USB rechargeable battery in here, which all I have to do is plug in, turn that on, and now we have adjustable LED lights in the tent as well. Now down from the back of the tent, we have more storage on each side of this like back door. For the most part, you're going to want to be entering through the front of the tent, which has a little bit of an overhang, but this is the same dimension as the other side. So you could mount the ladder on this side and climb up here if you wanted to as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six pockets. And now you will notice behind me here and right in front of me on this side, we have these nice big, mesh pockets, which you can actually take out if you're not going to use them, but it really doesn't take up any space. And I found one of the best uses for this is throwing your hoodies and hats, pants, other clothing when you're going to sleep at night. It is this mesh material, so it's kind of like a laundry hamper almost. You can throw your dirty clothing in there, keep the stink away from all of your nice clean bedding. And that is a really nice feature that I kind of wish I had in my tent as well. 
Now I think the only thing left to show you guys is how I would actually close this thing up. So what I like to do personally is close the back tri-layer fabric here on the opposite side of the door. This one I like to keep zippered up all of the way. Unless I know that I'm camping in a spot where I'm going to have 360 views, then I'll pop it open. But for me personally, that stays closed almost all of the time as well as the bug screen. Now these side windows and the front door, you can actually leave open if you wanted to, or you can close them up all of the way. You could close up this entire tent, and as long as you leave this top mesh vent on the ceiling here open, it's going to allow you to actually squeeze all of the air out and it will kind of compress all of your gear in here, making it very easy to close. So I'm going to close up this side as well. I'll kind of lay everything flat in here. And then it's as simple as closing it down, latching all of the latches. And like I said, it's just about as easy as it was to open. Now that I've got everything laid flat in the tent, it's going to make closing this thing very easy. I also open up the valves on the air core mattress. That way, as I'm pulling the tent down, it will actually compress it and kind of squeeze the air out of it. If you wanted to make this thing ultra compact and put a lot of stuff inside, you could also carry around a pump to suck all of the air out of that air core mattress. But this works just fine. Make sure everything is tucked away nicely. Now I can start these latches. Now coming around to the front side of the tent, I'm simply just gonna pull the top closed while kind of pulling in the side fabric. Making sure everything is nice and neatly tucked in. Now since this is a hard cover, I can also sit on it to help me close it, but as you can tell by the pressure on these latches, which are adjustable by the way, it's not even really necessary. Just like that, I've got the tent all closed up. I do also have latches on each side, which are not really mandatory because you can move things around in this track. You can kind of do with or without them. So if you wanted to make this thing really easy to set up, you could just do two latches on each side or one latch on each side, making it four in total. But since it comes with the latches, Figured you might as well use them. So those are my thoughts on this quick overview of the Free Spirit Evolution V2 short. If you guys have any questions on this tent, let me know in the comments down below. Again, I will be leaving some links where you can find all of the detailed specs to figure out what Free Spirit tent fits best on your vehicle. If you guys are interested in any of the Free Spirit products, I also have a discount code for you, which I will leave down in the description below. You can use that and save some money and help me out at the same time. So that is all that I had for today. If you guys are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every single week. As always, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.